under the topic process synchronization uh, we are going to discuss one of the most important classical problem on this process synchronization and here the title is readers and writers in this particular session we shall give you the in, uh, introduction in the next session we shall give you the respective algorithm so let me proceed so in this particular problem that is the readers and writers we are going to have four variables active readers running readers active writers and running writers you might be requiring the what is the purpose of these variables okay we know that here in case of resource allocation to a certain process it comes through three different phases so these phases are request resource use resource and release resource so active reader or active writer means the process which has taken birth and place a place a request to the operating system to get uh, the access over the critical section and has not been completed yet that means the count of processes here so that will be known as active if it is a reader process then it is a count of active reader if it is a writer process that then that will be count of the active writer so active reader means the number of processes who have originated either they are in the critical section or they are in the waiting queue so that count will be known as the active reader similarly we are having the active writer but in case of running writer means number of processes running writer so number of writer processes who will be there actually in the critical section number of so that means it is my running so if you consider reader process so this is the active reader and this is a running reader okay so in this way we have, we have got these four variables and they are going for the respective counts good now let me tell you more details about the problem in the readers writers problem reader and writer are the processes they are going to read and write on a same variable so as a result of that the variable accessing is becoming a critical section problem so i must put some synchronization some ordering some sequencing of that access we think that writer should have the priority more than reader because if reader reads and then the writer writes then reader will will be reading the old data but if i allow writer at first and then if i allow reader to read then reader can get the updated data so always we think always we consider that writer process should have the priority over than more than reader process okay and here we have defined all the four variables so this much i require to go for this particular section so here the section name is correctness criteria what is the correctness criteria so here we are having some what should i say some assumptions or we are taking this one as some correctness criteria what are they point number 1 always number of active reader must be greater than run, uh, number of running reader obviously because out of those active readers some readers are running they are already in the critical section so this inequality will be will hold good so zero is less than equal to rr and less than equal to ar because the count cannot be negative max to max they can be zero similarly this particular inequality that is zero is less than equal to rw and less than equal to aw because some of the active writers are in the running state there is a point number 1 i have completed now let me go for the point number 2 so i am going for the mutual exclusion of running processes there is a point number 2 okay see so in point number 2 we are writing not rr greater than 0 and rw greater than 0 that means as the problem is of critical section problem so at the same time reader and writer cannot execute in the critical section so running reader is greater than 0 as well as running writer is greater than 0 cannot be possible so that's why you have written that running reader greater than 0 and running writer greater than 0 not it is not possible now i shall go for the problem number criteria number 3 point number 3 no deadlock of active processes that means let us suppose running reader is equal to 0 and running writer is equal to 0 it means what 
it means the critical section is empty that is none is running. So, critical section is empty and active reader is greater than 0 or active writer is greater than 0. In the system there are some readers some writers who are active that means they have placed already requests or it is or it is and. So, if any one of them is true then either running reader will become greater than 0 or running writer will be become, uh, will be greater than 0 because at least reader or writer will come and occupy the critical section. So, at the same time this running reader greater than 0 or running writer greater than 0 should take place and that should not be any deadlock. So, that is my criteria number 3. So, now correctness, correctness criteria number 4 writer should have the priority over readers. So, please listen what I am telling writer will have priority over readers. So, that means a writer will go to the critical section if there is no running reader. A reader can go to the critical section if there is no active writer. So, that is very important. So, writer can write if there is no running reader that means the reader has already occupied. So, let it complete then this writer will come, but when the reader will come to read something from the variable as writer process is having the priority higher then I shall have to check where, whether there is any active writer present or not. If active writer is present then this running then this particular reader whatever has got request. So, that has to be suspended that has to be kept in the waiting queue. So, that particular writer should take over the charge of the critical section. So, that is very important. So, writer will have the priority over reader. So, let me repeat this point again that is a reader can read at the critical section if there is no active writer. The writer can read at the critical section if there is no running reader. So, this is the problem. So, writer will have the priority over readers. So, considering all these aspects we are going to write algorithms on this readers and writers problem. Please watch our next video where we will be writing the algorithm and we shall explain the same. Thanks for watching this video.